time tensions were this heightened was during the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962, when an American U-2 aircraft photographed Russian nuclear missiles on the island of Cuba. This put them directly on the doorstep and within easy strike distance of the US. In response, President Kennedy ordered a naval blockade and promised to sink any Russian vessels that posed a threat. Thankfully, both Kennedy and Khrushchev reached an agreement and the world breathed a huge sigh of relief. 55 years later, tensions are again at an all-time high with Russia's Putin, North Korea's Kim Jong-un and America's President Trump on a dangerous collision course. North Korea shares a border with China, Russia and its traditional enemy, South Korea. Despite the majority of its citizens living in poverty, it spends a huge amount on its military. With a standing army of over a million and up to six million reservists, women have also recently been forced to become soldiers. North Korean weapons include a wide range of chemical weapons, often allegedly tested on political prisoners, and of course, their rapidly growing nuclear capability. They have also conducted several successful nuclear tests over the years. On March the 6th, 2017, they test fired four ballistic missiles towards the Sea of Japan. This received worldwide condemnation, prompting a White House representative to say the US was very close to engaging in retaliation. The USS Carl Vinson Carrier Group has now been deployed to the coast of the Korean Peninsula. Meanwhile, President Trump has ordered an evacuation drill of 230,000 US citizens in case of war. Kim Jong-un has stated that he is ready to sink the nuclear aircraft carrier with a single strike. Elsewhere, Russian nuclear-capable Tu-95 Bear Bombers have flown close to Alaska, apparently testing NATO defences. US fighters were sent up several times to intercept in what is now a highly volatile situation. Jets from the British Royal Air Force have also been frequently scrambled to intercept Russian warplanes probing UK airspace. Russia has stated that it plans to send observation aircraft over parts of Europe, as it is entitled to do after the 2002 Treaty on Open Skies. Russian tanks have already reached the border with North Korea, and China has reported it will be doing the same in a supposed effort to calm the situation. As the US fleet approaches the region, King Jong Un has in fact promised a great war. So what armaments does he actually have? Figures suggest North Korea owns 2,500 rocket launchers, 6,500 artillery guns, many of which are stationed along the border with South Korea, over 1,000 planes, although lack of money to spend on fuel means many of these are grounded. They also have an extensive stockpile of chemical weapons, although full details about the type and quantity is sketchy. What is certain is that Kim Jong-un as a country built around its military and he's not afraid to flaunt it, even threatening China with catastrophic consequences if they side with the US. As time ticks on and the power players of the globe come together, the whole world is holding its breath. North Korea has a population that views its leader as either a godlike figure or a feared dictator for whom they will fight to the death. It is even reported they could have suicide bombers carrying nuclear bombs to wreak havoc across South Korea. The atomic device dropped in World War II was only 15 kilotons in size. Today's weapons are up to a thousand times bigger and several prominent nations across the globe have a working nuclear arsenal. If just one nuclear weapon is used in the coming weeks, this could very rapidly escalate as other countries react and panic spreads. With massive military exercises taking place right now by South Korea and the US on one side and North Korea across the border, the world has never been a more uncertain place. Will common sense eventually win the day or will the unthinkable actually happen? The world is watching. Hopefully I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button and make each day count.